Managers of Reddit past or present. What is your favorite IAM the manager story? A full grown man was throwing a fit at I wouldn't mark down a Thor hammer at a Halloween store because it was missing that little brown piece of cloth that was tied on the end of it. We are talking the most minimal of issues. It was not the last one. I told him he could have a new one with the string on the end for full price. Or this one without the string on the end for full price. Either way. The product's integrity was intact and he was just being an ass. He demanded to see the manager and I walked into my office and turned around and came back out. Hello. I'm the manager. What seems to be the problem here? He was so mad. Loved his face. He spiked the plastic Thor hammer on the ground. Effectively shattering it and stomped out. I called the cops. Gave the license number. He got sued by a major party store chain for a $12 hammer and lost. Note. Said hammer was for his infant son who couldn't even hold the hammer. Edit. I should tell you that half of the stuff in Halloween stores have been fixed. Hot glue and needle and thread. Duct tape. You name it. The stuff is very. Very cheap and I would guesstimate that about 10% would come in damaged from last year or shipping and I'd have to sit before we opened every year and fix it all. Repackage. Markdown because things are missing or miss soon. Swords are split down the seams. You're best off inspecting closely what you pick out when you go to these places. Because the odds are good things have been fixed or marked down because they are unfixable. Very rarely are things damaged out. My manager is very young, 24 I Ike, and frequently gets people telling him that he's too young to be a manager. Go to love hospitality. 19 year old McDonald's manager here. Same. Also. So this is your future now. Huh. And you're so young. EHH. I also study in university. But okay. It's a shame they said that. Because that's actually a good job to have when in university. Sure. Maybe not the best. But dude. Manager? That looks awesome on resumes. They obviously didn't understand the economics of it. I'm 25 and store manager at a textile store. One day there is an older couple, you can clearly see that these individuals live on the posh side of town. They are shopping for some new upholstery fabrics and like the one I help them find but the color is not quite right. The lady asks me to just place an order for the color she would like. I reply that I cannot order items I don't carry. She does not like my answer. Measures me with a glance, I have a lot of tattoos and stretched lobes and says she would like to speak with the manager or somebody that works there every day. Like me working there is a fking community service, I reply that I am the manager and if she can't find anything she likes she can take her business elsewhere. Back I the early 2000s. I worked as assistant manager of a popular video game retailer. On a slow day. I had a guy come in and tell me he wanted to buy 2 PS2S. Two copies of all the popular games. Controllers. Etc. Personal experience told me that something was fishy. I gathered up all he wanted and proceeded to ring it up. He whips out a credit card and tells me that this will be tax exempt. His credit card was for the local airport authority and says tax exempt on it with no number. So I ask the guy for a copy of his tax exempt certificate. He says that he doesn't bed one and anything charged to the card is tax exempt. I proceeded to tell him how tax exemption works and the fines that my company would face if I didn't follow the law. There was some back and forth and in the end I refused to process as it as tax exempt. He refused to make the purchase unless it was tax exempt. He says. You just lost a big sale. Buddy. I was already on my way back to the stock room. So I replied back. Well. I'll just go the back and cry. Then. He got pissed and asked for the manager. I am the manager. Well then. Who's you boss? I want his number. I proceeded to grab a business card and write down his name and office number on the back. After the guy left. I realized I might have given him the wrong number. I ended up calling the district manager anyway and explained the situation anyway. He agreed I was right for refusing the transaction. I then called the airport authority and spoke to HR that explained that the person was just fired that morning and said that he didn't have the card on him. 
They were pretty sure the card hadn't been dotherized yet and thanked me for notifying them. I used to work for a particularly large ISP doing tech support. One day the guy working next to me was dealing with a particularly rude business customer. The business customers were usually treated like kings but this guy was having a particularly hard time even getting a word in. Eventually he put up his hand to motion the supervisor come talk to the customer. Right then the owner of the company happened to be walking by with another one of the execs. I've met the guy a few times at the company social events and he is a really down to earth employee friendly boss. He asked what the issue was with his customer and after it was explained he took the headset and picked up the line. After listening for about 4-5 minutes he said very flatly that's never going to happen. Especially not when you have an attitude like a 13 year old girl. Again listening for a minutes before he said I don't have a manager. I own this company and I don't have to listen to this shti from an arsehole like you and neither do my employees. I'm terminating your account with us. Double quote. He hung up and I watched him disable this guy's account and add a note to the file. Customer is an asshole. Do not reinstate account, boss. Then he just handed back the headset and carried on about his day. 21 22 years old. Low rung manager of a movie theater. Guy tearing tickets took a lunch break so I am tearing tickets. Lady comes in. Like an hour before her show is supposed to start. The end of the film is still going on. And she is holding what I can only guess is an ice cream sundae made for 4 people. I tell her we aren't letting in for that film yet. And she can't bring an outside food into the theater. She gets into a tizzy and tells me that she always. I say always. Brings food into the theater and no one has ever stopped her. I'm an impetuous 21 stroke 22 year old making 20 cents over minimum wage. So I tell her it's been a rule since before world war 2. You should get out more. She says I want to talk to the manager. I say sure thing. I'll go up to the office and he will come down. And then I walked up to the office. Checked my hotmail, I'm old, and came down and told her I'm the manager and she can't come in with the outside food. Ended up giving her a refund for her ticket after she said I know the owner of this theater and he will fire you. Dot. It would have been nice if I had been fired. I would have gotten unemployment. Not my story. But my parents. They owned a franchise deli some 12 years ago. My mom was there full time making things run smoothly and my dad would be there sometimes to help out when he wasn't working his tech job. Well this lady came in one time and ordered her food. When it arrived. She claimed that the kitchen made it incorrectly. My mom apologized for the inconvenience and calmed her meal as well as gave her a certificate for a free sandwich next time the lady came in. So the lady comes in again. Orders her food. And again claims it was made incorrectly. My mom again apologizes and gives her another coupon for a free sandwich. This happened probably one or two more times. My dad had heard about it and was convinced they were just being scammed by this lady. Well. The next time the lady comes in. My dad happens to be working the kitchen. Sandwich lady comes through the drive through and orders. My mom recognizes her and so to make sure everything is perfect. My dad makes her food himself and gives it to her. A couple minutes later. The lady calls the store to say her food has been made wrong again. My mom sets the phone down and goes to my dad and says the lady is on the phone and says you made her food wrong again. My dad says you tell that BTCH I didn't make her food wrong and that she is never welcome in this restaurant again. My mom picks up the phone and says and the lady goes I heard that. You tell that boy that he is fired. And my mom responds with. Mom. That boy is the owner of the restaurant. The lady hung up and never returned. My parents both have a long laugh about that whenever they are thinking of all the stupid bullshit that went on with that restaurant. P. I worked at a restaurant where you filled in a ticket with all the ingredients you wanted on your pasta pizza salad. There were large boards above a counter explaining how to order correctly. Once customers filled out their ticket they could bring it to the register. During a weekend lunch rush with a line of at least 25 people. A woman comes up to the counter and tells our cashier what she wants. When the cashier told her that he needed a ticket she got annoyed about the inconvenience. All while the line builds up behind her. 
she demands to be given a ticket and begins filling it out right there. Seeing this. I come up to the cashier and tell him to ring up the people behind her while she takes her sweet time making the important decision of which pasta sauce she wants. She finally finishes. Pays. And sits with her gaggle of companions. Later she comes up to me and tells me that my behavior of having the waiting customers pay before her was extremely rude. I respond by telling her we try to make sure every customer gets speedy service and her holding up the line because she didn't read our large signs was also rude to all of the other customers. She tells me that she'd like to speak to the manager to complain about me. With a gleeful, and maybe slightly evil, grin I reply. You already did. I'm the manager. The look on her face when she realized she wasn't going to get to BTCH and feel vindicated about my mistreatment of her was lovely and even though this was years ago. It still brings me joy. When I was in high school I worked at a candle store in the mall. For the most part. Everything was returnable for store credit unless it was a sale item or holiday specific stuff. I had a woman giving me the hardest time about not being able to return something that had obviously been used for an event and she no longer needed. She asked for the manager. Who was there but wasn't satisfied with her answer. She went on to ask that we contact someone else about it and it just happened that we had a visitor from head office at the store that day. Still not happy with getting the same response from all of us. She went on that general disgruntled customer rant of this place is terrible and I'm going to tell everyone how terrible it is and no one is going to shop here and in the best move I've ever seen. The woman from head office dragged a ladder out into the middle of the mall walkway and insisted that the woman start telling people about her experience right then and there. The woman quickly shut up and left. It was beautiful. I used to work as a pharmacy technician at a private pharmacy in a medical complex. We used to have this lady who frequented the pharmacy and never understood why her medications couldn't be ready in 5 seconds. One time she claimed that pharmacies should run like fast food businesses. She comes in one day when she had nothing ready. She wanted to return her medications because her doctor changed her dose. Well. The law says we can't return medication that has been out of the pharmacy. She claims she didn't even use it and can't believe she is being treated like this since she is a long time customer. She gave me sh tea for about 20 minutes and threatens to sue the, the pharmacy. Being tired of her shit. The pharmacist came to talk to her. Backs me up. She still throws a fit and throws the bottle at him. At which point it spills. The pharmacist notices that it wasn't actually her medicine, a narcotic, but Tylenol instead. He collects it all. Hangs onto it. Explains to her that trying to get narcotics in this manner is at least fraud. She all of a sudden calms down and asks not to call the cops because she is on probation. Happens all the time. I'm 29 yo but go to work dressed in geeky t-shirts and jeans and without makeup. So I'll look a few younger than I actually am. Me. My father and my brother are business partners but I'm the only one who goes in every day. My dad semi-retired, only comes in when he absolutely is too. Or when he's bored at home, and my brother is in college. We have only one employee and he is about my dad's age. Shoppers often assume he's my supervisor or I'm the employee and he's the owner. It's great to see how their faces change when I tell them I'm the owner and he's the employee. Usually happens when they want a bigger discount than the one I'm giving them. They will say something along the lines of maybe we should ask the owner is there's anything else he can do to which I promptly reply with I am the owner. Faces are absolutely priceless. So I worked at a small dive pizza place that stayed open till 3am to overcharge drunk people. Besides the owner and her sister. There were three employees all with the title of manager. All with absolute power if the owner was out of the building. I got to use the BTCHI and the manger line quite a few times with drunk assholes. My favorite moment though was one time a customer was arguing with me over something. Said there had to be someone above me they could speak to. So I get my buddy from the back hotels and the same thing I told them. They asked to speak to his supervisor. He goes in the back and I come out and say I hear you have an issue with my worker how can I help you. They got really mad and accused us of fking around. And that they wanted to talk to the real manager. We then explained how we were both managers. And both supervising each other. 
and that there was no one besides us to speak to. I then asked if they wanted to speak to my supervisor again and they left. I was pretty baby faced at the time and I wasn't wearing my leadership fleece so I looked just like a white castle team member. This woman what being an absolute monster to my team, dumped her drink on the counter. Yelled at cashier because he took too long to count the change. ETC, well I handed her food to her and without even opening the bag she claimed it was too cold and demanded free food. Well I told her she didn't even open the bag and there's no way she would know if it was cold or not. She got mad and demanded to see the manager. I took two steps away pivoted around on my foot put my hand out to shake hers and said hi I'm the manager with the biggest shot eating grin on my face. She left after that. I managed a video game store and this really cool dude came in with his super hot wife and they bought a pair of DS's and a bunch of stuff huge total. Apparently he was some higher up in the air force and they liked to play games together while traveling. Well. He dropped his military ID somewhere and called later to ask if we had it. We did not. Later in the day I got a call from one of my underlings that said ID was indeed in our store and fell behind the safe. They found it while trying to grab a debit card that also feel back there. Comma I was off but lived nearby so I said I'd come take care of it. In the few minutes it took me to get there. The wife came back and was livid. She thought we intentionally kept his ID and was making the usual profane threats of legal action. While I crawled under the counter with one of those little grabby things that haven't led on the end. Well. After an inordinate amount of time I finally grabbed this damn thing and presented it to her. Her immediate response was I demand to speak to your manager right now for the time I've wasted. To which I replied. You're looking at him. She then dressed me down for holding the ID and taking forever to find it. To which I replied. It's a shame you feel that way because your husband has been driving over town looking for it. I was then called a liar. Then I showed her the texts from him on my cell. She thought he had already left town. Apparently he. Too. Feared her wrath. And lied about being gone already so as not to have to spend any more time with her. I was an assistant branch manager at a very busy branch for a credit union and we would regularly jump on the teller line to help get the line down faster. My branch manager was helping one day and a customer was upset for a stupid reason and asked for some fees back. We are usually good at reversing fees for good reasons but they had a history of getting fees reversed and were overdrawn a lot. The customer starts cussing and just being an ass so everyone can hear her and says that they want to talk to the manager. My manager says okay. Have a seat. She then proceeds to help the line for 15 minutes while the customer sits in the lobby. She then walks around shakes the customer's hand and introduces herself as the manager. I have had quite a few. But one stands out. I was the manager of a tavern. So pub bistro combo. We had a big proper coffee machine but didn't really promote coffee and head office wasn't overly concerned with it. So any issues with it took a while to get approval to fix. Anyway. Lady orders a coffee off me and I tell her I would love to but the machine is broken. She immediately gets aggressive and demands a coffee. I point to the big red out of order sign and explain again. She goes nuts. Yelling and screaming. Insulting me and demanding a coffee. When she finishes I tell her again. But that she is welcome to get a coffee from the cafe next door and come back and sit with her friends. They make better coffee anyway. Again she starts yelling and storms out. She gets a coffee from McDonald's and comes back doing the whole nine nine I got a coffee like a three year old. Then starts on the personal insults. I tell that's great. Now go drink it somewhere else you are no longer welcome here. You can't do that. I want the manager. Double quote. I can. And I am. Now leave please. Double quote. Kicking someone out of my hotel for having two giant unregistered dogs and for smoking in the room. I knocked on their door three times and they refused to answer. When I opened the door they finally said you can't come in here like that while we are in the room. It's illegal. Double quote. I said no it is not. This is private property and we reserve the right to enter any room. Anytime. For any reason. Double quote. They said well that's illegal. I want to talk to the manager right now. This is ridiculous. 
I'm filing a lawsuit. Rabble rabble rabble. Double quote. So I said I am the manager. And you can do whatever you want. As long as you're off my property in 15 minutes. After that I'm calling the police. Double quote. So they said now I'm calling the police. Double quote. I said alrighty. Go for it. And then I returned to my desk and within 15 minutes. A terrible downpour of rain started. And I realized these were the people taking up 10 spaces in the parking lot with their stupid trailer. And one of them had to load their motorcycle into it because he couldn't ride it in the rain. Not me. But it was my pharmacy manager and I got to witness it. No one would take this job so they gave the pharmacy manager job to a guy fresh out of school. So this dude is like 25 and is basically a typical 25 year old gamer. Someone starts losing their mind about their pain meds and how he's mistreating them and they want to speak to the manager goddammit. This dude tells them okay. Walks behind the medicine racks. Takes off his pharmacy jacket. Puts his name tag on his shirt. And walks back out. Says. I'm the manager how can I help you? Double quote. It's without a doubt the best thing I've ever seen. Not the manager but. Had a dude come in wanting a bundle, desktop and monitor deal, from our Sunday ad that was sold out, since it was the Saturday following the ad. Com let the guy know we don't have it right now but can order it and he says something along the lines of well then. I want the bigger monitor for the same price. Double quote. Up. Uh, nope. Can't do it. Up to sales leader who says no. Up to manager who says no and then no. And no again. Finally. He says there is someone here who has the authority to do this and I want to speak with them. Double quote. She looks him dead in the face and in kind of a pissy tone said I have more than enough authority to make that happen. But I'm not going to. Double quote. Not so much manager. But good owner story. Obligatory background notes. So I own and operate a small yogurt dairy out of Austin, Texas and am very hands on with my production team. You can usually find me at the very least monitoring the bottling runs if not completely involved in one station or the other. After a particularly tough day the CFO and I decide to eat lunch at a local spot and happen to run into a label salesman who my CFO has been using to get our current supplier to come down on price. He decides to make some small talk while we are getting our food all the while making some comments about me coming out to eat with the big boys and maybe one day I'll get to management. BTW I'm wearing rubber boots. A t-shirt and jeans. Covered in a healthy amount of yogurt from the day. As we are about to leave he finally asks me how it is to have to work under him. He points to my CFO. CFO looks at me. Looks back at the sales guy and just says actually. This is my boss. Made my day. Best lunch ever. I work as a section manager for a transport yard. We had a delivery driver who was screaming obscenities at our staff. I told him to calm down or I'd reject his load. It didn't help the situation. I called material planner, my offsite boss, to reject the load due to the driver's behavior. Unfortunately it was a load of urgent parts needed in the morning. We couldn't reject it. The material planner did help me out though. He asked for the driver's time slot. Turns out the guy had arrived 15 minutes late. Meaning we had no obligation to unload him by a certain time. I told him that he would have to wait. He demanded to see the manager. Yay. Buddy that's me. He started swearing and carrying on again. I tell him to stay in his vehicle and I'll find another manager for him. So an hour later myself and the rest of the day shift finished for the day. I left a note for the night shift manger explaining the situation and waved to the driver as I walked off site. When I was 19 I was assistant manager at an out of funked video store rental place, not blockbuster. Even shittier. Comma we had a regular who was just a mean old man. A real piece of shit. He would bully whoever he wanted. Act like he owned the place and belittle anyone who talked to him. All because he knew the manager. Well one night the manager got fired for theft and I was called in and told by the DM that I was the new manager and that my pay would be adjusted immediately. I carried out the rest of her shift, she was fired upon walking in the door, and lo and behold the arsehole old man comes in the door and starts his usual arsehole routine. I told him to cut the shti and act right. 
And he replied with a self-righteous smirk that he knew the manager. I told him she got fired and I'm the new manager and a look like a deer gets in headlights crossed his face and he rushed out the door. Never came back. My manager once had an unintentional I am the manager moment backing me up once. It was late February and a customer came into the produce department and asked if we had any pomegranates. I said. No. I'm sorry. Pomegranate season just ended. And we won't start seeing southern hemisphere ones for another few weeks. He's like what are you talking about? Pomegranates just came in season. Double quote. Now. I know my produce. But my manager was one of the only people I know who knows more about it than me. And he happened to be one aisle over. I shout Oscar. Do we have pomegranates? He answers in true Oscar fashion they are out of season now. Come on. You know that. Big dog. Double quote. This just angered the customer more. He demands to speak to my manager. So I shout over to Oscar. Oscar. Who is the produce manager? By now Oscar looks really confused and he says to me hey. You feeling alright? You know I'm the manager. The customer just turned around and walked out of the store. Repost from other similar thread. This one is kind of a recurring problem. Fortunately, as a manager, I only have two people above me. The general manager and the owner. We have a woman that works for us. Is the sweetest woman in the world. But she is a larger woman. Older, 65. And comes from a farming and military background. So she is strong and stocky. Unfortunately, she is often mistaken for a transgender person. Even though she is not, not that we have a problem with that either. Anyway. Multiple people have refused to do business with her based on her appearance. We do have booking fees at our establishment. And anyone who sets an appointment with her is subject to the cancellation fee if they cancel without notice. I have had her come out to greet clients. And as soon as they see her. Say nope. And turn around. Without getting into detail. Our business has nothing to do with appearance, I then charge them a cancellation fee. Often. I get a call a few days later. Asking what the charge is. Myself, or my subordinates, say it is for cancelling service without proper notice. At least 4-5 times a year I get to hear some asshole try to stammer to me why he should get a refund. I always make them say it. As most of the time they try to dance around the issue. I had a last minute thing come up. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. But your personal life can't affect our business arrangement. She. Wasn't what I expected. Oh. In what way? Uh. You know. No sir. I don't well. Cue lots of stammering. Etc. I will not give refunds for this. My boss won't and my owner won't. If they really want to push chargebacks against us. They can. But we aren't about to let people do this. When I was 19. I was the front of the house manager for this little seafood restaurant. There was an old lady who would regularly come in. Order the clam chowder. Eat it all and then refuse to pay because she claimed it was somehow missing some important ingredient that it had the last time. She did this so much that the wait staff just expected to comp her check. And she was rude as fck and never tipped. I finally got sick of it and told her. When she did her usual song and dance. That I would comp it one last time. But that I knew her game now and should she ever return. She would be asked to leave. Cue shock and horror and demanding the manager. And me smiling happily and telling her she was talking to her. I wasn't the manager. But I work at a small art house movie theater and a couple years ago my manager. A black woman a couple years older than me. Were the only ones behind the counter. Typical as we're not super busy. An old guy came in and made conversation with my boss. She had her arm in a sling from an accident and this guy looked at me and told me I should let her go home early. I said what? And he was like she's injured let her go home so I looked at my boss then back at him you know she's my boss right? He did not appreciate the response. Literally thought I was jerking him around. We got a lot of people who didn't believe she was in charge. Best I ever had was more along the line of oh. You're the manager? Dot. 
I was out back having a smoke. This guy comes up I don't know and we shot the shti for a bit. He says he's here for an interview then started trashing not only the company but me. Saying stuff he had heard about me, or the manager. Not me specifically. I was shocked but didn't say anything and went inside. 10 minutes later my admin walks him into my office. He did not get a job that day. If you're interviewing for a job. Don't assume the heavily tattooed guy in jeans and boots out back is a shop hand. Some of us work our asses off to get a desk gig. Worked for a consumer electronics chain for many years. One of the stores in our town was a shallow storefront in a large shopping center. It was 20 years old. Rundown and due foreclosure as the company was concentrating on full range stores. It had no back area or storage outside the sales floor. It was 5 meters by about 20 meters. Just enough space to have hang cell on the walls and one row of shelving. Most days there was only one staff member rostered. Sometimes it was me. A staggering number of people who would come into that store. Ask for an obscure item and be surprised when we didn't stock it despite seeing how small the store was. One day a woman comes in and inquires about a specific phone charger. I look it up. And explain I don't have any at this store. But it is available at our nearby full range store. Five minutes away. She goes ballistic telling me that it's ridiculous we can't stock chargers for every feature phone, which was a law circa 2008. I explain that we're a small store and carry a limited range. I can have one ordered in for her. If she would prefer. At this point it is me and this woman in an otherwise empty tiny store. She restrains her emotions for a moment and asks can I talk to the manager? Dot. I stop. Pause. Look around the store and just say mom. I'm the only person here. I'm not sure where you think a manager is hiding. But they're not. After a long tirade about my smart assery she eventually leaves. I doubt I'll ever understand why she was so angry. I used to manage a non-chain sandwich place when I was 17 because the owners were oafs and no one else worked as much as me. They hired a woman in her mid 40s to close with me during my shifts at night after high school. First day there I introduce myself blah 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 halfway through the shift a woman orders a sandwich with no mayo. The woman puts mayo on it. I took it back and asked her to remake it. She takes off the ingredients and smears off the mayo on the counter and starts putting the other stuff back on it. I told her. Like. Lol you're not going to seriously do that are you? And she was like why what's wrong with it? As soon as she put it back in my hands I told her she was fired. She starts laughing. You're gonna fire Emmy? You're a kid. I said sure. I'm a kid. But I'm also your manager. She called the owner. I told them what happened. They said they trusted my judgment. And away she went. I think back on it now. If a 17 year old was my manager and I was that old and they fired me. I would probably hang myself. I worked in a Burger King. At 20 I was the oldest person on my shift. A customer came to me to complain and demanded to speak to the manager. I went and got our shift manager Ross. Only 19 but he was experienced. Smart and worked as an on-call firefighter at the same time. As fast food managers go. He was a really good one. He was handling the customer's complaint really well was polite. But was refusing to give the customer their whole meal for free just because a single topping was wrong on one burger. Eventually the man snapped and shouted I'm fed up speaking to children I am getting nowhere. There must be another manager in this place I want to speak to a f king adult. Ross paused for a moment then said politely I can get the duty manager if you want. But he's my little brother. Double quote. The customer said this is outrageous and walked out. I was the customer care manager in charge of sales support for a medium sized software company. We had 3 tiers of support and then I was the last escalation point. If the VP above me, or anyone else above him got any sales complaints they would simply forward them to me. When I had time, I would help the tier 3 team and answer a few emails. When doing that I would use a generic email signature without a title. If anyone replied demanding to speak to the manager then I would reply the same thing but I would add my formal email signature that had my title. 
since it was email I never got to see the customer's reaction. But I always enjoyed it. There were a few instances where customers accused me of lying about being the manager and telling me that they would get my fired when they get in touch with the real manager. MCDS on a night shift. Had a regular crew member and a trainee shift manager on tills, who was a bit older than me. But also I guess I look younger than I am. I spotted a clearly unhappy customer heading back with his food. So I intercepted him with a hi there. Can I help? Dot. He said he'd like to speak to the manager. And I told him I was the manager and he said you're no the manager. He's the manager. Pointing to the trainee. I kind of shrugged and let him stagger off to speak to the trainee manager. Who immediately sent him back to me. Despite that. I still don't think he fully believed I was the guy in charge. But he was fairly drunk. Was the business manager for a local computer store several years back. But this story is about the main manager. Guy comes in and is furious because his Mac won't work. Looks like liquid damage. Swears up and down it's because we sold him a faulty machine a few weeks back. He wants a full refund and is screaming in my face about it. Finally. He says I want to speak to your manager. Cause ain't no goddamned woman no shti about computers. I smile a little. Tell him no problem. Step in the back and grab my manager. And out walks a tiny little hispanic girl. Heavily pregnant. Big smile on her face, cause she's been watching the cameras. He spluttered out something about asking his kids about spilling stuff on his computer and is never seen again. Didn't happen to me but to my manager. I was working at a security firm and one of my senior co-workers was really mad at the manager. It all came from him thinking that we were taking on a lot more jobs than we should. Office politics etc. So my co-worker drags me with him into the manager's office and starts stirring up all this shit. Little does he know that me and the manager go way back, I happen to know he basically the majority owner. I start to feel that he's laying into the manager bit too hard saying he's gonna talk to the board and owners when the manager just replies. I am the board. Anyway that's how he became emperor of the galaxy. Sort of related. I was an intern in a startup company. And the support department was myself and another intern. People frequently call support. Then demand the manager. Our manager was never available. So we would just pass the phone back and forth. And pretend to be each other's manager. If someone called. Asked for the manager. Then asked to be escalated again. We would either put on a different voice and swap it back. Or take it to someone else in another department. Write a script for them. And have them take the call. Manger at a call center. I'd get asked all the time if I could transfer to another manager. The answer was always. As I am perfectly capable of handling your situation I am unable to transfer you to someone else at my level. You can however feel free to end this conversation. Call back. Go through the ranks and maybe get someone else who will provide the same information. This normally lead to a rant on how privileged they are and how garbage this is which lead me to respond an empathizing statement along the lines of if I did this to myself I'd be pretty angry too. Is there anything else I can address for you? Double quote. Actually just heard this one yesterday. I have an acquaintance who was. Up until recently. In special forces. During a recent war. His division was in charge of guarding a key position. He was given the orders to not let anyone in by car. Even the chief commander. Who shows up. Not 20 minutes later. In a car. Asking to be let in. The chief commander. Diligently following orders. My acquaintance refuses him entry. Do you know who I am? The chief commander asks. Yes sir. Of course I do. My acquaintance replies. And I was given specific orders not to let anyone in by car. Yourself included. Mentioned by name. Double quote. Now. It should be mentioned that the army in question is not one to buy FKED with. The commander stares at him for a few seconds. Mutters something to his driver. Pulls over. Gets out of the car and walks into the building by foot. A few minutes later. The commanding officer runs over to the soldier. You idiot. Do you know who that was? He shouts. Of course I do. 
The soldier replies. You told me specifically to refuse him access by car. You idiot. The commanding officer replies. His name was used as an exaggeration. If the chief commander comes here by car. You f king let him in. Double quote. At least he knows how to follow commands.